In today's globalized economy, what shapes our future is probably the understanding of the cultures that make up our world and how we can work together as one to achieve a greater future together. So, what is culture? It is defined as the values, customs and social behaviour of a particular group of people or society. Knowing and understanding how people of different cultures behave and what their values are will greatly help anyone to relate better and hence collaborate with the others for a better outcome in any situation together. Such knowledge and understanding are also known as cultural intelligence. So David, where in Singapore can we best acquire the cultural intelligence that we're talking about? Right where we live, Gabby, mm. in Singapore, a multicultural society in our neighbourhood. And that is only scratching the surface. Mm. Exactly, because one needs to know the past, to understand the present and to predict the future. And to do that, you need to visit the Museum of Singapore. And in the Culture Centre of Singapore, District 6 alone has five museums. And we should start with the most iconic one, the National Museum of Singapore. Here it is. The National Museum of Singapore is the nation's oldest museum and it seeks to inspire with stories of Singapore and how she interacted with the world, including the migration of the cultures you see today into this little island and even the painful, regrettable World War II. Interestingly, the museum actually started back in 1849 where it was just a section of the Raffles Library and Museum at the Singapore Institution. And in 1887, it relocated to the present location and is definitely one of the city's defining architectural icons today. The museum presents the past and present of Singapore in a compelling narrative through the two permanent offerings which are called the Singapore Gallery and the life in Singapore the past 100 years. Now, this is definitely the place to acquire cultural intelligence in Singapore, don't you think? Now, that was impactful, wasn't it? It is also possible to acquire cultural intelligence about Southeast Asia and even Asian country in Singapore. To do that, just check out the Asian Civilization Museum, which is where I am right now. With a Pan-Asia focus, the Asian Civilization Museum explores and showcases the various cultures in Asia in a three interesting and yet logical exhibition over three levels. Level 1 is trade. It's showcasing artifacts found in a tank shaped wreck and the earlier trade scene in the region. Level 2 is faith and belief. It's showcasing the faith of the earlier settler in the region and the art inspired by their belief. Level 3, Material and Design is showcasing the more modern way the culture express themselves. Now, to really understand the culture of a country or area, knowing in history would not be enough. One needs to understand the art that evolves from within as well. And the best way to do that in Singapore is to visit the National Gallery of Singapore where many monumental art pieces are on permanent exhibition in this truly significant and historical monument where the original Supreme Court of Singapore is conserved as well. Converted from the amalgamation of the former Supreme Court building and the City Hall, the National Gallery oversees the world's largest public collection of Singaporean and Southeast Asian art with more than 9,000 pieces. It aims to provide an understanding and appreciation of art and culture through a variety of media, focusing on Singapore's culture and heritage and its relationship with other Asian cultures and the world. Besides art exhibitions, the National Gallery of Singapore also holds a variety of restaurants and cafes. What a cool place to hang out! Now that we have covered the culture through its arts and action, 
let's go and check out one of the most iconic places in Singapore where this diversity of culture in Singapore actually interact in the past, the present and we're sure in the future. And there's no other than the famous Singapore River. The Singapore River in the past was a place where the goods and people coming from overseas would alight and hence many early settlers may tell you their first memory of Singapore is the bustling place near the river where the people of different colours will mingle with one another. They may also tell you that this is where they used to work for the port trade was the main source of income for many then. Check out the sculpture reenactment of that scene in history here. Do you know that cultural intelligence could also be linked to real estate? That's right. Living in the midst of historical and cultural monument definitely increase one culture quotient. And a property that allows one to do so is definitely very sought after. And in District 6, a well-known building had been torn down to be replaced by an exciting lifestyle hub. Let's go check it out. There you go, a building site for up-and-coming integrated lifestyle hub, Kenny Hill Pierce, with Fort Kenny at the background. Now this site was previously known as Liang Court, a very well-known and familiar building to all Singaporeans and tourists. It underwent an on block purchase and is now at ground zero, getting ready to be reborn as the exciting Kenny Hill Pierce. Check it out. While we don't have the details at this point, we do know that the Lifestyle Hub will include a shopping mall, a hotel, a service apartment and two residential blocks. This new development is jointly developed by CDL and Capital Land, two highly renowned developers in Singapore respected for their build quality. Now this location is what I would call the culture gems of the residences. Perhaps the most prestigious you can get in Singapore because District 6 alone houses most of Singapore's important monuments from museum to place history and significance like the Padang, the High Court, etc. This district is more meant for that. But in the midst of this, we'll soon have Canning Hill Pier, which undoubtedly will surely also be known as most prestigious address in Singapore you could have for condominium living. And in the next episode, we'll cover the Fort Canning Hill and the immediate neighbourhood and this mini docu-series, The Coming of Canning Hill Pierce. So to the next episode, this is David and Gabby signing off. Till next time, you take care.